The IPP program stands for the International Player Pathway Program. We're going to have just over 50 athletes compete in our combine. We've probably filtered through over a thousand athletes from around the world to get to this point. You know, competing every day with NFL athletes, that's not for everyone. And this process is going to help us to filter out, you know, those that are ready for that. A year ago, two years ago, I was sitting down watching the IPP guys and I, I, it's something that's like, it's always like a dream in the clouds. I never thought I'd be interested by the, like, the NFL, it's like, I mean, look at me, I'm getting a bit watery eyed. I'm not really nervous, no, I don't really, I'm, I don't really get nervous. I like being given the opportunity to showcase my, my talent and my ability. Um, it's something that I've trained for. I really did put my, my, myself in the best situation to succeed. Just hearing international combine, pressure. But it's, I also think of an opportunity. I'm going against some of the best guys in Europe. And not just in Europe, in the world, outside of America. Being a, a kid from the UK, my first, my first sport that I ever played was soccer. I've always played a defensive position, so I was a, I was a defender in football, and then eventually I came across American football. I remember my first American football was actually bought for me by my uncle. He really kind of got me, he said, look at you, like you're going, you had your growth spurt. I was thinking I was like, like 17 at the time. He said, why don't you go and try and play football? Got to university and came across the Harps Hurricanes. It was amazing, I loved it. Summer of my second season there, I went to play for Blitz. I then moved from there to Hartfordshire Cheetahs, and then from there it went to, it pretty much went straight to Surge. I, I mean, I heard about the year left, but I didn't know what it was about. Kind of shocking the fact that a team reached out to me and it went so far to the point where I was playing for them. I'd say my ultimate goal, becoming a, not necessarily just a player that's in the NFL, but like a household name. My uncle was probably the biggest driver. He always encouraged me to, to, to excel at it and unfortunately he never got to see any of my games. But I know he was always proud of me and even in his final few days I got to show him some game tape and he, he smiled and I actually managed to tell him that the reason why I've managed to come this far was because of him. First time I heard American football was literally just over four years ago when I started university. <laughs> in my first year, I played wide receiver because I have a track background and stuff. I was just running fast. Then, as I started learning the game, I realised because of my rugby background, defence just made more sense for me. So then, at the end of my first year is when I transitioned to playing uh, defensive back. It was overwhelming feeling at first going over to Germany getting signed by the Comets. So then I, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go over there and show everyone that watches why I am made for this sport. Yeah, my size has been a very big challenge that I've had to overcome in a way. A lot of teams didn't want to take a chance for me because of my size. So what can I do? Now, I'm a grind in the gym. I'm a part of the numbers that these bigger guys are putting up. I'm holding people to zero yards a game. He's someone that really listens to criticisms, takes it on board, doesn't really bring any ego into training. He's always been really strong, so we've been trying to build up some speed, speed strength, those sorts of qualities, and just make him a very powerful human being, especially in his position where he is a little bit smaller than some of the other guys maybe, but still able to hit just as hard. Can't really fault his character. I think he'd do very well in the future. Cool, size matters, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna show people that in my situation, I'm very powerful in this small, small frame I have. So when I first started playing, it was just for, for fun, for leisure. And it was almost something I used to do on the side of my degree. That I was approached by Will and James and the IPP guys that um, they, they, saw, they saw my film and, and they really liked what they saw just from a physical point of view. And they wanted to work me out some more to see exactly um, where we and where I could take, take my talents. Obviously, I didn't make it onto the next stage but I was given some really positive feedback on what I needed to work on. I basically needed to gain more experience in the game, which was one of the reasons why I went over to Germany. Over the seven games, I think I had eight sacks. So I was a defensive player of the week for two weeks. Not to be too, too cocky, but I basically lived in the backfield. We, we can see how much he wants it. Every time when I walk into, into his room, he's always watching some sort of 
American football analysis on YouTube. He's always watching the, <laughs> the games. I'm sleeping at 4am in the morning. I can hear him just moaning <laughs> downstairs at the TV, just making all I'm like, this guy, please, just let me sleep. Meeting O.C. Manura um, earlier this year, um, he's a great guy. He reached out to me after um, it was announced that I made it onto, onto the programme and I was able to go up to him, to, to his home, um, speaking to him about football, about life. Yeah, it, was, it was a great, great, great thing. I was really just sitting there soaking as much information as possible and if I could have just a fraction of the career he had, like, I'd be very grateful. I mean, my end game, yeah, to put it straight, is to be an NFL player. What we're all looking for is an athlete who's confident, they're prepared, they have a process, they have a routine. So at the Combine, we're going to test the athletes on a number of different athletic tests, from straight line sprints in the 40-yard dash, to agility tests, three-cone drill, and the pro shuttle. In addition to this, we'll work them through their specific position drills. And then when they hit the field and start to perform, you know, the numbers speak for themselves. The combine for this year in London is going to be tremendous. We've got a great stage at Tottenham Stadium. I know it means a lot for these players. They work hard for it. And the international football community deserves something like this to showcase the tremendous athletes that we have playing the game around the world. setup but it makes a lot of guys a little bit nervous it is hard to do your personal best when you got a little bit of an edge you're on a new surface um, it's a lot of nerves going on but it's an amazing experience for these guys to be on this field doing drills on a field that guys play on play on Sunday it's an important day for these young men where uh, this is their opportunity to demonstrate their athleticism, uh, their capability to be elite NFL players. Could be a life-changing moment for each of these young men. Hey Jason, what's up? Good. What's going on with you? Yeah. I'm good. How are you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. Now I'm feeling loose, ready to go. Yeah. yeah just are the... you rain yet? Or... No, not yet. I felt good. I felt fast. But it's milliseconds we're working on, isn't it? Fractions of a second. I feel good. I was trying to, uh, on the second, second go, slipped a little bit, but I like I was able to go again, and I feel like I got, just trying to work on the edge. Yeah, I think I got it right, but I guess we'll find out. No, man, it wasn't good, man. It wasn't what I wanted, but it's what it is, man. It's in God's hands now. <laughs> This is not as big as much speed and force as you want. Mm -hmm. It really helped me calm to have someone experience just talk to you. Calm you down and say they understand that you guys at me. It's easy for you to feel again, get caught up there. I need to be perfect straight away. Well, that's good. I've done what I can, um, showing the type of person, the type of athlete I am, and hopefully it's enough, uh, enough for the eyes. Earlier I was a bit down, 
because of my main athletic res um, results, but these ones have definitely showed that like, I know how to play football. My speed can translate. Like some things I could have done better. Um, some things um, I was satis satisfied with. Not, not really happy with anything I've done. But you know, massive learning curve. It's my first official combine, so you know I'm gonna look at the positives right now. Happy to just get through the two days. You know, get to finally get some sleep, eat some cake. Hey, good job today, fellas. Yes, you did yourselves, sir. your clubs, your families, your country's proud. Yes, sir, let's sir. go, let's go. IPP on three. One, two, three. IPP. So Chad Warren, DB, spent the last season, for his first season in Europe, was in the GFL 1 with Al Gore Comets. Measured in 5'9", 192, so a little undersized if we're looking at him as defensive back. I mean, I would say he caught the ball very well. That quick twitch athleticism that you're looking for, you didn't quite see. Yeah. The ability to be reactive, he's obviously done a good job of working on himself, trying to coach himself. He says that he's never really had a position coach. The position he's trying to play, it's highly technical, and the level of athlete you need to be to play corner, in his case, is, is so exceptional, especially at the NFL. I think the kind of performance you need to see from him in this setting has to be that much more extraordinary to compete with somebody who's been playing the game in the States for yeah. a decade or more. So with Chad, we're both in agreement. It's a no for this year, but I think we have uh, some really constructive criticism and feedback to go back to him with. And, and I think if it's not this year, is it a next year thing? He's, he's going to be a good football player down the line for sure, wherever he's playing. Jay Jackson, he's a local guy, he's from Edmonton, almost drove past his house to get to the stadium on the day of the combine. Played for the Hertfordshire Cheetahs in the UK, since got an opportunity to, to play in Europe with Stuttgart Surge. I think that was a real good opportunity for him to see the level of talent there is in other parts of the world. He, much like us, we're trying to figure out what he is and what he does. Does he want to put his hand in the ground and be a defensive lineman? Or, or is he able to kind of step back a little bit and play in space and play that outside linebacker position? I think that's something that, to be honest, I don't think he knows the answer to that yet. And something that right. he needs to figure out and certainly something we need to consider. You can see the stiffness, change of direction, but then at the same time, he does have some reactionary quickness. He can bend. And I think actually he has a very low training age too. I think when you look at some of the numbers, that's only going to improve if he commits himself to it. And it sounds like from speaking with him and his coaches, he's committed to that. Again, someone that we want to work with, support for him to continue to grow in this, in this game. And then Dyer? You can see every piece of feedback we gave him. He's gone away and he's worked on it. He's honed that in. You can see it every week when we were watching him play this year in Germany. And, and he's bringing it here. When he ran his 40, just his knee drive mm. was different. He just looks completely different as an athlete. The acceleration coming off of some of these bags and the way he's finishing. What used to take five steps now takes two. Or one yeah, in some cases. Absolutely. He can change direction much more efficiently. He's jumping nearly a foot further at about seven pounds heavier. Mm -hmm. And looks great doing it. He looks like an NFL defensive end. He's, he's, he's got all the components. I think he's got a lot of tools that if you can sharpen and kind of hone them in a bit, I think I think he can be a problem for, for an offensive lineman somewhere someday. Dio. Oh guys, good morning. What's going on? Hey, good morning. What, what I'd start off with is just really commend you on the feedback we gave you in April last year uh, when we finished the program. Uh, you took that to heart 100%. You jump further, you run faster, you look much better in your drills, your fundamentals were, were much, much improved. So, you know, we wanted to call you this morning, give you the good news. You know, you aren't another opportunity. Okay. Wow, that's great. Um, yeah. 
And we're we're just we're just excited to get to work with you again, you know. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much. Yeah, my parents are here. My my mom's here. My brothers as well. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. On behalf of my husband, who has gone to work, and my ch other children, I say thank you so much, and I hope he will not disappoint you in America. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, All right, speak to you soon. Get re yeah, ready for some exactly. paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, that's so <laughs> And thank you for NFL. And I want to say thank you to NFL for giving him, you know, the second chance. or not to be able to get to the next stage of an opportunity like this it, it was a little bit of disappointment in it but if I even look back on the last year I've had and I look at the way that football has gone for me I can't really take it as like a loss because to go from last year this time where I had no offers I had no offers for American football just about talking to teams to have gone played abroad in the highest league in Europe now to the NFL IPP program something I was watching but just over a year ago and thinking this is an amazing opportunity but I don't I never thought I would be a part of it I look forward to the 2022 season the way I look at it is that there's just it's just another step you just need to keep moving first of all I want to say thank you to everyone for giving me an opportunity to you know showcase my talent at first I'm not going to have any news when I got told the news it did hit me a little bit but it was it, it was a time for reflection it was a great experience it helped me become more focused um, now I know exactly what I want to achieve and I know I have the opportunity to achieve it. I know there's a lot of growing I can do. So my main thing is optimising that this year, getting myself in the right situation around the right coaches that can put me in a position or help me put myself in a position to do better next year so that it will give the IPP no trace but to take me. So yeah, it was, it was a great experience that I would do again. Approaching six minutes. As Newton will be taken down, it's Obata again. Looks like he's going to run and then he steps back and hits Jakob Johnson, the fullback, for the touchdown. And look at where it goes. 